Hi, um, this is our second job now and this is a handover inspection and we did flood uh, the shower area, it's an enclosed shower, take a look at what happened. So water started coming out everywhere. Not only that, it actually came inside the wardrobe as well. So the shower's there and it's coming out of there. So now I'm on the roof cavity and take a look at this. No insulation anywhere. Wow. So the supports are non-compliant, must be 70 mil minimum. The walkway must be continuous. So take a look at this here. I'm gonna turn the lights off. See the wind driven rain will make its way into this cavity right there. And then guess where? Into the living area. Oh, don't mind those back blockings. They're all non-compliant as well. And also take a look at this bracing. There should be two nails on the top of the cord and then on the face, there should be three. So here's a diagram, print screen if you like. Let's go. So then the bracing comes here over the truss and non-compliant. It must be tied to the face of the truss. So I managed to squeeze in between those trusses so we can get a better look. So as you can see here, they've bent it over. There should be two nails here, but there's nothing. And only one nail here. Non-compliant. So as I'm going in oh, under those ducts, I did find something really cool. There's the insulation. Whew, getting hot here. So obviously those supports are all inadequate. And those insulation bags have to be installed. So this is a handover inspection. Don't forget that. Let's keep digging in. This duct goes nowhere. More non-compliant bracing. Should be three nails to the face, boys and girls. More non-compliant back blocking. And this turn radius is non-compliant. I can't go there, but what I can see is that the connection is not adequate. So basically there's gonna be some air leakage from here. So I really don't know how the building surveyor has passed this frame and it's non-compliant. So if you look at this uh, triple grip from MyTech, it does state the following, that you have to use reinforced head nails into each of the bottom cord, etc. But you need to use reinforced nails. Now here, let's try to take this out. Pretty easy. There you go. This is just a cement sheet nail and it's not reinforced. So you can see here, this is a reinforced nail head, right there. And this is just a cement sheet. See that? Non-compliant. And here, we only have one cement sheet nail. So take a look at the fixing requirements. It says that nails or screws to be 300 mil centers for top cords and 450 centers for the bottom cord and webs. So this is a top cord right there the webs or spider webs right there and this is the bottom cord so we can see here it's um around 700 should be 450 and the webs you can see it's around uh, 450 must be 300 max looks like there's a lot of framing to do naughty naughty building surveyor i mean check out the connections here Look at those support hangers. They're about, let's have a look. They're about 20 mil. Wow. Hello. It's pretty good having no insulation. I can see all the defects. Non-compliant back blocking. So for those people that, that don't know about the back blocking, it has to be 100 mil. On either side so basically it has to be kind of like this set up 100 mil on this side and then 100 mil on this side of the recess line and no more than 30 mil from either side of the supports so you can see the gaps here are more than 30 mil throughout thank you mr insulation guy also check out the lights the alignment is pretty good 
Not. Oh my god. It is a nice kitchen though. So take a look at this roof here. It is a sarked roof. Eaves right here. No eaves here. Which means if you have the roof that has sarking, there should be an anti-ponding device. Now, there is no anti-ponding device here. Also, take a look at this. There is um, no separation between the water and the power. There should be 25 mil separation. Also, take a look at this. You can see the ventilation unit right there and it's not ducted out, non-compliant. And also, rubbish. I'll just leave it right there.